Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good morning. Um, I'm just I'm in the middle of uh, morning with patients and I just want to take time to record a little video for you guys because la it's like a week or two ago I had I had a bit of a, a pain epiphany if you like. Um, to set the scene with it, I, as some of you know, uh, I've been trying to play football again this year. Uh, I tore my hamstring really badly um, last year and had about three months of not being able to play and ever since then I've, what I've been trying to make sure I do is, is condition my hamstring so that that doesn't happen again so that the injury doesn't keep reoccurring because it's a very common one for footballers. Um, to do that what I need to do is I need to manipulate my exercise um, and my lifestyle in the right way to give myself enough rest but also to make sure that I'm challenging myself so that I can keep moving forward. And basically what had been happening was my hamstrings were just playing up constantly, they, they were not settling down. And I kept thinking like, well, you know, what do I need to do? do I, maybe I should rest it. Maybe I should actually just not play football for a little while. Maybe I should have a little break from it. Um, and then I was thinking, but if I don't do it, I will never get the tolerance to be able to do it again. And that's, that's, that's the thing. Okay, so um, the thing that causes you pain with your back is the thing that you need to do. That's the mountain that you need to climb. It's the thing you need to overcome in order to get the improvement that you're after long term, okay? Pain takes stuff away from all of us and these problems take things away from us. So what we need to do is actually find out what is it that I need to be doing? What is it that I can't do? That is the hurdle that we need to overcome, okay? And, only, and the only way to overcome that is by physically doing the thing that, that you can't do, okay? So what I did, rather than take a rest, let my hamstrings recovered, I kept training. I reduced down my intensity um, so that I could then keep working hard uh, and uh, well, keep keep doing something, okay? Because if I don't do anything, I'll never build the tolerance to prevent injuries and problems in the future. I'll never get myself to a point where the thing that is currently causing problems isn't causing problems. So if we, it's, it's the same for you guys. If, if bending is causing you back pain, okay, and you're, you know, in, 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 you know that if you do it, you may well get a problem. Well, we need to find a way of actually getting you to do it without causing the problem. So maybe just like a little gentle bend or a, a, some kind of rehab that is focused around bending. <clears throat> and, and actually say, you know, this is the thing that causes the problem. This is what is a big trigger for my back pain. I need to overcome this trigger and beat this trigger so that I can then move forward with everything else. Okay, so... Um, for example, I've got a patient at the moment who really struggles with, struggles with walking long distance. So to get him to rest or to do core exercises or stretching or yoga or anything like that, it's not going to allow him to, to be able to walk for longer. Okay, not really. Doing walking is going to allow him to walk for longer. So what we've actually said is get walking, but not to the extent that you aggravate it. So he's doing exactly the same thing that I did. So with my football, I reduced my intensity of training. He's reduced his, in, his, his intensity and his volume of walking. Um, and actually he's just, all he's doing now is just walking within his pain-free range. All right, so, and then what we can do over time is we can build that back up, because the only way for him to overcome the thing that causes the pain is by going at that thing, okay? Um, you know, sometimes rest can be helpful, but it, it's, for me personally, I think if, 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 there's a, if there's a specific goal that you have, because all treatment should be goal-based, the only way that you get the tolerance to do to achieve that goal is by going at it, okay? What we see a lot of people doing when they first come to us is they're doing stuff around the problem. So they're, they're maybe, they're like, oh, I wanna play golf again, so I'm doing these core exercises. And maybe that, that might help. Or they say, I wanna run again, so um, I'm doing these specific stretches to help you know, with these muscles in my back so that they don't get tight when I run. Okay, well that's, you know, that's, that's obviously, that, that's an idea, but, if you want to run again, we need to start you running in some way, even if you like run for like a few seconds and then stop, and then you run for a few seconds and stop, or if you're literally just like the slowest trot of a jog, whatever, we need to start moving you towards that thing. With golf, for example, if it, even if it's just playing some really gentle shots, even if it's just putting or something, doing these really, really small movements to get you so it can start building you back up, okay? Yes, you can supplement other things into that, but the only way to achieve the thing that you want, that, to beat the thing that causes you pain, 
is to go at that thing and try and overcome that, okay? So, what I want you guys to do is stick your, whatever it is, the, what's the thing you're trying to overcome, comment it below and let me know how you get on with that.